Okay, welcome back. Jason here with JHL Smart Scripts and the Custom Values Updater. In this video, I am going to show you how to now install your webhook so that this form will update your custom values. And then I'm going to show you how to map your custom fields and your custom values and add the locations to our authorizer. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip over here. This is our GHL Smart Scripts dashboard. I'm assuming that you already have this set up. If you don't have it set up, there is training in our membership portal on how to get this page set up. It's really simple. The onboarding email that we sent you, there's a custom value values or the custom menu link uh, URL in there, copy and paste that into your custom menu links and add it to your agency account. So once you're in here, you will see the uh, custom values updater here, but you'll also see it up here under smart apps. So we're going to go down and uh, first thing we're going to do is I want to grab this web hook right here. We're going to copy it. Um, this is the web hook that we use for updating the custom values in, uh, after the form is submitted. Now there's a custom, there's a, there's a web hook down here, but this web hook here is for adding a location to authorize automatically from your onboarding. And I'll go over that, uh, in more detail, uh, in a future video right now, I'm going to show you just, we're going to grab this. We're going to go and create a workflow for the form that we just updated. So this form here is called form zero. I'm actually going to rename it because uh, I think we can have a better name than form zero. Um, let's just update that custom values form. Hit save there. And then we will go over to automation. Inside automation, we're going to create a new workflow. Start from scratch. And we're going to add a workflow trigger. So this is going to be after form submitted here. Um, and we are going to pick the form is custom values form. Save that trigger. Let's turn, uh, let's hit save. Uh, we have to add in a webhook. So now we're going to add in our webhook here. Um, and we're just going to paste in that, uh, that web hook that we grabbed from right here. Okay. We're going to paste that in there, hit save. And let's say, rename this custom values demo. I always like to go over here to settings and allow multiple as well. That way people don't get stuck not being able to update custom values because we only let them go through the workflow once. So let's do that. And then sometimes it's nice to go remove from workflow as well, just to make sure that they're removed from this workflow once they, their custom values are updated. So we have that in that the form is going to be submitted is our custom values form. Our webhook is going to get called and then we're going to remove that from the workflow. Okay. And we'll go back here. So that's how we add the webhook to the workflow in the next video. I'm going to show you how to map your custom values.